So how much does a minibus cost to rent? Welcome to BookBus's blog. I'm going to jump straight into the answer and then I'm going to tell you about how you can save on your minibus rental price. So let's drive straight into it. The daily price for renting a bus is around $800 to $1,400 for a full day. I'd say around $1,000. That is for a full day. Prices start from a four hour rental for about $500, um, maybe a bit more during the summer. Additional hours costing $80 to $140. Let's say in big cities, you can rent a bus for a few hours or a, or a quick shuttle for let's say 500, maybe even less actually, if it's just like a quick shuttle, you need to get maybe an event, get from A to B. And the size of the minibuses is usually 18, 24 or up to 36 passengers. Minibuses are, well, many smaller than regular charter buses and they do have pretty good amenities and some can even carry a trailer if you have a lot of luggage or coming from an airport transfer, but you don't need a full size bus. Um, here is just more of the same, uh, just to make it super clear. Um, it's also set in this price table. You can search here for a specific bus, uh, minibus rental um, near me, or in this case you. Um, but here are the main factors you can think about in order to optimize your price. So um, figure out how long do we really need this bus for? And so one of the things you can do if you have a really long day and you're like, but Oscar, I need like um, this many hours and I need this and this and this and this and this. And so it's gonna be a lot of hours in total. So maybe we can split it up um, into turning in a return trip into two smaller one-way trips and save money because maybe you don't need the bus in the middle of your event. It will just sit and wait and do nothing. So talk to us about these things. Um, then there is driving distance. Um, if you drive within like 50 miles, it doesn't really matter. If you get close to 100 miles, it begins to matter and there's an additional cost per mile that you drive. So look at that. Um, I would also say the minibus size and capacity. Obviously, if it's a bigger bus, it'll be a little slightly more expensive than a smaller one. That said, we still need the same driver, so it's not that much you, you really um, that you need to save. Let's say much more important is the trip date and the season where you pick the bus. Definitely, summer is more expensive, winter is is more affordable. So definitely take advantage uh, of us and the season. So if you have an option to um, to organize your trip um, during the winter season, um, then definitely do that. I will also say book it in advance, um, at least 30 days, I would even say 90 days, um, because you just get a better price. Because we can optimize where we send the bus from. And if you call, you know, same week, about a weekend in the summer, we might not have a bus that is located in your area, it might be sold out. And so hence we have to drive it in from further away, which effectively increases the amount of hours you're renting your bus for. Uh, here are some examples. I'm gonna let you just go to the block, look over those yourself. Um, but here's a few additional factors that you can that you can think about. The pickup location. If you're getting picked up in the middle of nowhere, um, we have to go and pick you up and that just adds cost to serving your trip. So if you can pick like a place that is around major cities, that definitely makes it makes it more affordable for you. I would also say if you drive more than 10 hours, um, and that is from the bus leaves the garage to it's back in the garage, so for you it's more like an eight hour to, to look at, um, you will need another driver. And so we want to avoid this. And so talk to about our team, how we structure your trip so you don't need like 10 hours of driving. It's also up to 15 hours on duty. That is the daily maximum for a driver. Uh, not according to us, but according to the Department of Transportation, which basically makes the laws about how long drivers are allowed to drive in order to keep things safe. And we definitely want to keep things safe. Also, um, Routes, travel uh, fees, so tolls, bridges. Um, let's steer clean of that if we can. 
Um, also, let's try to avoid any overtime. So like managing your group, make sure they get on time, make sure the whole event runs on time. Um, again, will of course um, factor into your total price. Uh, lastly, cleaning fees or party fees, as we call them. Uh, if you bring uh, drinks and they kind of uh, spill all over the floor, it gets sticky, somebody has to clean that. And if you, if the bus is back at midnight after your event and somebody has to use the bus next morning at 7 a.m., well, somebody has to spend like two, um, two hours cleaning the floor um, at 2 a.m. And so they have to get paid. And um, yeah, well, if you rent the bus in the morning, you appreciate that it was probably cleaned. Um, you can also rent a bus for longer for a week, um, a weekend, or maybe you need like multiple weekends along the summer for a summer camp or something like it. Um, talk to your team about this and to find a special price. So I hope you got a little bit smarter on what it costs to rent a minibus. You can also see what it costs to rent a school bus or what it costs to rent a charter bus. I'll put a link in the description below and I hope you have a wonderful um, day and I also hope you will get a wonderful event. Thank you so much. Bye.